Here we go. Um, I have an idea, and this is for the Instacart guys. I don't know if Instacart shipped or any of you guys are thinking about this, or even if this is even an inkling of an idea in Kroger's head. If they're if they get ideas like this, I get so many ideas. I practically fart ideas. I say I shit ideas. It's just how good I am at creating ideas. And this idea is how to get people to buy more groceries online. And you probably already have this. I pro I don't know. I'm not. I haven't even done the research. And that is. Basically, um, you do the Martha Stewart, you have all of the groceries, the items that people need for a recipe, and you create a group, a grouping of it, you link it, and you uh, can uh, tie it to any one of the grocery stores or through Instacart or Shipped, such that you can just say, I need, I want to make this item, this recipe, whatever it is. And then you click the thing, and it goes to your favorite storefront. Your favorite, if it's Amazon, uh, Amazon Fresh, if it goes to shipped, and they get it from some select stores, if that's required by the recipe. If it goes to Instacart, and it goes through them, or it goes to Kroger's um, uh, click list, um, whatever it be, that it be a standard way of taking all of the items because they're all UPCs anyhow. So you just associate a bunch of UPCs like a UPC playlist, a UPC recipe list, and it gets the right amount of every item that you need. You could even probably have caterers that would create that item, that whatever it is you picked off, the recipe that you picked off, and you could direct it to them and they would make it for you at a price. And then you could see the price of what it would cost to get those items under each one of those providers and like whatever extra little things that you could get on top of that um, by going through them. So maybe Ship would offer, I mean, of, of course Amazon's going to offer you Prime so that you could get Prime Video and all the stuff that... The reason why Amazon is able to provide all that crap is because um, people don't know this, but they have something called the Amazon Cloud. And what the Amazon Cloud is, is it's just this huge farm, of order, what I call a farm, of computers. And if a, somebody who's developing a web technology needs to outsource, I mean, needs to, um, needs to handle for certain cases where they would have a onslaught of a lot of users and they wouldn't be able to prepare for it um they can what they do is they set up these little servers um image images um basically copies of the working system um the virgin working system that, as if it has never even been touched with all of the components and everything necessary to answer the call when they come in and what it does is it puts this image on one on one server and when a call comes in for more than it can handle it spawns off multiples of those it clones that image across a number of computers and they all balance it balances out in serving up to all of those various different people coming in and that's where we get the term cloud computing that's where that came from it's not uh, people in marketing or using the word cloud the way people were using Java whenever Java got, you know, op object oriented. So people started associating JavaScript with Java, even though JavaScript doesn't look anything like Java. It sucks. JavaScript is the worst language ever produced, but people use it because they, they, you know, they hijacked the term Java and people thought it meant that it was just as good as Java, but you know, interactive for pretty much anybody to use. And I, it's, it's, I wish the language would just die a quick death because JavaScript is awful. And I use JavaScript, but I, but for instance, it has no, it has no seed for a random number generator. You have to make your own random number generators. It doesn't have a real random number generator. It doesn't really support arrays or even double arrays. So you have to do 
funky stuff to get arrays into it. I don't understand how it becomes a language. It, it's just beyond me. But anyhow, um, anyhow, back to the EC2. That's that's how Amazon provides like Prime Video and all this other stuff is because they put all their money, you know, for Alexa and all that. They put all their money into computers, into serving up services to people that need to handle large numbers of people coming in needing stuff and being Amazon, being internet based and wanting uh, superior web services in case there were lots of people coming in to shop at their store. Um, they have those services is that when they're, they don't have all the people using it, they use it, they give it to other people to use whenever they have large demands on their web servers by um, outsourcing or, or um, having other people pay for the cost of keeping their machines running and stuff. So that's where all of that stuff that Amazon has comes from. And if anybody else wants to compete with Amazon in that way, they either have to come up with their own cloud service or use Amazon's cloud service, which is probably the best thing because everybody's using EC2 or they're using Google's cloud, or I guess they use uh, Microsoft's Azure or whatever, you know, cloud service. Um, I don't know anything about Microsoft stuff, but I just thought it would be really cool to have it in such a way that any that people could be their own Martha Stewart's, do what people are trying to do with YouTube by making money off of having videos. They could they could do like recipe shows and then provide links inside the YouTube stuff. And if people clicked into that link, they could pick their shopping store. They'd get a small commission off of people using that recipe it's it's basically how Martha Stewart got all of her money is by getting people to go buy the items that she referenced in her recipes but what if the recipes were were just objects just link, linkable objects maybe they were just um you know a QR like a QR code is just associating with a piece of data on a cloud somewhere in a server somewhere and uh you just click on it or you you take your cell phone and you take a picture of the QR code and or Q code and it takes you strictly to that object and that object translates to all of these various sorts of items that you need to buy and has the recipe embedded in it what the recipe was in case you want to use a caterer and you can just say ditto I want this rather than having to say oh I have to get this item this uh, I have to go over to Amazon and find all these items rather than just doing that just click on it you've got it 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 goes if it doesn't find it at some store it'll find it at some other store you know if it, Amazon doesn't have it then it could it could be like a tracker it could go and find like a tracker in a torrent it could go find somebody who does have it and and buy it off of them or or get it from them, see where it's in inventory, get all the resources down, and then maybe the caterer can fix it. That way, some people can make some money instantly, and we don't have to go around looking for crap uh, in our shopping, you know, shopping for crap and having to, like, get the exact thing or trying to remember which, where, it, you know, stuff like that. Um, I don't understand why this doesn't already exist. Um, or I, I, if it does exist, why I haven't heard about it. Because I work as a bagger for Kroger, and I, you know, I see this stuff going by all the time. And I'm just like, you know, why are people, like, trying, you know, can't find something in the store, you know. Or, um, this stuff should be already, um, optimized and digitized. And they should be able to know that what's on the shelf and what's not on the shelf. There should be, like, cameras, VR 180 cameras on our, on our clickless carts that are taking in video using AI to recognize the items that are already on the shelf and being able to track that there's enough items or not enough items on the shelves, um, why they are not using something like um, they were trying to, they were going to use, um, they were going to use, uh, um, what was it, radio frequency um, UPC tags or whatever on, on items. And being able to have all those items communicate and say, I'm here and uh, I account for not having been bought yet. And then having all those items just communicate to each other, have a, 
something to send off a signal to get a, a, a transponder thing, you know, it says, uh, sends, trans off, sends off a message, all the items in the store or in the area of that thing all say, hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and then it can collect all the information of which items are already on the shelf and then just be able to store it in the database. That was another idea I had like a decade ago, just to give you an idea. And so, um, I shit ideas. It's not even funny. So anyhow, um, uh, let's see. So that, there's that. The other thing is, is if somebody's already shopped for something at one of these outfits or whatever, um, the golden handcuff is going to be able to, is the ability for them to recall a, a previous collection of items that they bought a group and they pro i'm sure they already got this and for amazon i haven't really looked to see if this exists but i mean as an idea man you don't really spend all your time researching sometimes ideas are already there you just aren't looking for them but the way i think about things is that it's so much easier for me just to fart the ideas than to actually go and research and make sure that this doesn't already exist um there are other people that would research it and then go patent it and and copyright and all this other kind of crap that I don't want to deal with because I don't care that much. Um, I care more just about putting the idea out there and if somebody can make use of it and make a lot of money off it, I'm fine with that just as long as it's out there living its own life and it's not my head bugging me all the time, okay? So that's the way I think about ideas. Um, as it says, is um, um, what is it? It's like success is 1% uh, inspiration, 99% perspiration is the truth. Um, nobody's going to really pursue a lot of these ideas, but, you know, you just put them out there and maybe somebody listens to them, watch this video, and then they're going, yeah, yeah, this looks interesting, you know. So, uh, yeah. anyhow.